Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with more Mount and Blade, a Clash of Kings. And I'm here in Ixacalo, my latest conquest. And the Pindor army is outside on my doorstep as we speak. I had uh, gone over to Westeros to recruit some uh, additional troops. And I gave quite a, bit of, quite a bit of the troops that I had to um, Sir Titus Harper. <clears throat> But he's still over at Loroth. I didn't have time to go get him before I rushed back to Ixacalo. And uh, so now, um, Pindor is sitting outside, getting ready to attack us. And um, I think we can take them. They've got uh, about 500 troops or so. I've got around 400 in here. Tariff from Bravos. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I gained a little bit of money, a little bit of money, but not not incredible amount. <laughs> My ironworks in Tumbleton is just bleeding money out, so that's terrible. <clears throat> All right, uh, Ferrigo Santo, yeah, why not? I'm not scared. Who is this? Who is this? Bravos offers me a peace agreement. Huh? Should I take it? And focus on somebody else for a while? I think I will. I think I'll take it so I can focus on Pindor. I can always come back and get Bravos later, right? So let's let's do it. Let's accept it. Let's make peace with Bravos. And so now I'm only at war with Pindor and uh, the Kalisar. Um, who is this running around out here? Sir Roger Osgrey. Uh, I, don't, I can't grab him because I have to wait here in case they attack. I mean, it's just ladders, won't they? There we go, finally. 661 enemy against my 374. Okay. Low Kolejak joined. Freaking Kalisar. Was this the Kalisar all along or was it uh, Pindor? I thought it said Pindor was sieging. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's both. Okay, well, let's go. Now, someone said that uh, we don't run out of arrows when we're defending. I hope that's the case. That's definitely some uh, Dothraki and some Pindorin. Pind Pindor, Pindoshi? What's the plural of Pindor? Pindorians? Who knows? Pindashi? I don't know. But anyway, there's a lot of them. <laughs> there's a lot of them. That's all I know. This is a relatively easy place to defend for uh, for us. If uh, if we got enough archers, that's always the key. That's always the key is having enough archers. Now the Dothraki hit hard. That's the problem. Yeah, they don't have hardly any armor. But man, they can tear people up with those sickles. And they do. So, I'm not looking forward to that. Ow. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Let's get these archers down here. There we go. There we go. Get these guys in the back while they got their backs turned. So far, so good. We're doing quite well. Quite well. So, I was kind of supposed to, uh, well, not supposed to. There's nothing telling me what I should be and shouldn't be doing, but I was planning on doing a uh, Anno Domini episode this today. Recording an episode, but. I really just felt like playing uh, Clash of Kings, to tell you the truth. So, so I played Clash of Kings today. There'll, there'll be a day where there's no. Uh, we'll miss a day of Anno Domini, and instead we'll have two days straight of uh, Clash of Kings. So I hope that's okay. If not, I'm sorry. But I like to play what I like to play. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's see if we can just grab a couple more arrows and we'll be ready to 
Do a little more archery here. So far, we are doing excellent against these guys. They have not hardly done anything to us. I've got quite a few reach archers, and I've got even more reach uh, levies waiting to turn into archers. So, I just love the crossbowmen. Like them a lot. Also, got quite a few western ones, levies to, uh, to maybe get some infantry going as well. But uh, I'm mostly focused on uh, reach guys, which I could always make some reach levies into infantry as well. Maybe get some reach knights because the reach knights are some of my favorite knights. They may not look the coolest. I mean, they may not be the best, but they look the coolest. That's what I was trying to say. I said it backwards. Okay. Let's see here. So far, great. No losses on our side. No deaths, anyway. Hi! They're just, they just can't hold up to our arrow garage. That's all it mounts to. This. Yes. I like these Pintashi Spearmen, though. That's what it is. Pintashi. Okay. I like them quite a bit. I, I mean, I like the way they look, anyway. I don't, I don't know that they're that useful. But they do look quite cool with their armor. Wow. You guys should just go home. Just go home. You're not wanted here. This is ours. Remember, Bravos made peace with us. This is their old territory that they have since ceded to us. That means it's rightfully ours now. You have no right to be here. So anyway, after uh, after we defend this place, I am going to go grab Sir Titus Harper. I dumped, like I said, quite a few recruits into him, and um, and then uh, we'll go attack Pindor, I guess. Now that Bravo says uh, beg for peace, or maybe uh, go on over to Dragonstone. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking Pindor. I think Pindor will be easy. I think it'll. There's only a couple of them, and they don't have just a lot of lords, so I think it'll be a relatively easy domination. At least that's what I'm hoping. Is that a two-hander? Yeah, Riverlands two-hander. Yeah, he looks pretty slick. Pretty slick. Heavy arrows. There we go. Yeah, so we're dominating this place. I mean, my god. This is not even... It's just kind of sad. They're just throwing themselves onto our defenses. Come on. Now, at least we're not like... Everyone that gets quote-unquote killed is just being knocked unconscious instead of being actually killed. So that's good. You take that side, two-hander, and I'll take this. Bye-bye. They might as well just retreat. I don't even know why they're still fighting. Uh, Wesley Shink leveled up. Um, I gave him a little bit more strength so that he can wear that uh, Kingsguard armor soon. He's up to 17 strength, so one more strength. And uh, he can uh, go into wearing... This Kingsguard armor. So that's cool. <clears throat> I also, uh, I, did I do that on camera where I put them all in the Kingsguard group? I don't know if I did that on camera or not. But it's done. There, I have a Kingsguard group. Number five is Kingsguard. Kingsguard, hear me! Tell him to follow me. 
Follow me, King's Guard. There they are. Hi, guys. Okay, so my. Oh no! One of my Re Riverlands guys was killed. Oh well. I guess we're bound to lose at least one whenever you're fighting two to one odds, but. I, I never like it. And just because it's gonna be inevitable doesn't mean that I have to like it. I mean, my, my men are like my brothers. Every single one of them. I just care about them. Kingsguard, are you ready to do some damage? Oh, look at this. Who's that? George? Get that two-headed sword out, George. Let's get some experience, guys. Get him! Get him! Get him, guys! Hey, guys! I need help over here. Never mind, I got it. I got it. Oh no! Who went down? Sir Anthony. Okay, guys. Let's go back up. We don't want to lose anybody else. Sir Anthony's hurt. We'll rescue him later. So we got a little bit of good experience there. Me and my king's guard. We're halfway done with the siege. Now this will be prime time to go attack Pentos. Now that I've destroyed their army here. And um... Why am I missing this guy? There we go. Now that I've destroyed their army, they will be a lot easier to beat. I'll just uh, run down there, take all their castles, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be all set. I, do, I will need to get some food. I don't think I have any food at the moment. I mean, I mean, cow <clears throat> I'm not even sure if I have any more cows in there. I think I used them all up. Ow! <clears throat> Excuse me. Bye bye. Bye bye. Back up, King's Guard. Why don't you have your two handed weapon? Out. Oh, because of the he's scared of arrows. Me too, man. Me too. Me too. Oh, good thing you had that shield up. Alright, let's hold this ladder, guys. Bye-bye. Get him! Get him! You got the lift. Sir Matnix. Got the lift. I got the right. You just hold the left. Oh boy, yeah. Uh oh, George went down. Okay. You got it? Atnix? Jason? You guys okay? Alright. Oh boy. And I fell. I think Jason tripped me. Jason? That's funny when we're in the tavern, but it's not as funny when we're in the middle of a battle. Not as funny, my friend. I mean, I understand the comedic impulse of, you know, tripping someone when they're climbing up a ladder. People throwing javelins at them. I mean, that's hilarious, but... You're not always appreciated. Oh, Sir Matnix went down. Uh, don't worry, guys. You'll soon have armor as good as mine. You won't be as vulnerable. You won't be as vulnerable then. All right. Where are we at now? 468. We've almost got it. We've almost got it. Almost got it. Oh! 
I better get behind the uh, railing if I'm going to use some archery here. Those javelin throwers are bad dudes. Bad dudes. There we go. <clears throat> Hello. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, Irene. Get him, two hander. Yeah. Oh man, my shield broke. We won! Hurrah! Victory! Well done, men. Well done. All right, so we lost two guys: uh, a crossbowman and a another crossbowman. I thought I lost a archer. Oh, that must have been in my garrison. Okay, that's fine. The enemy lost five hundred and eleven. Sir Matnix killed five. That's good. Inge killed twenty-nine. Wow. George killed one. Jason killed two. That's good. Even Sathos killed one. Look at that. Good deal. The salt is over, but the siege continues. Okay. All right, I think that's about all the time I'm going to have for today, so I apologize for that, but I have to get going. I have a job to do. A real-life job. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.